July 4th, 2010. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood concludes. If you've been paying attention, you would know that this is pretty much the highest rated anime on my anime list and pretty much everything else. And it's probably going to stay here for a long, long time. On August 13, 2010, Crunchyroll officially licenses its first movie, Makoto Shinkai's 5 centimeters per second. Crunchyroll was mostly used for fan subs and illegal uploads of licensed titles until the 2010s, when they fully committed themselves to removing illegal material from the site and only streaming content to which they had legal rights. They have since become the de facto number one anime streaming site. On July 8, 2012, Sword Art Online premiered for the first time, and although it didn't make it to any of the top anime lists, it's noteworthy in that it became quickly one of the most popular anime of all time, and some could say single-handedly revitalized the isekai slash stuck in a virtual reality MMORPG genre. Since then we've had other isekai such as Rising of the Sword Hero, that time I reincarnated as a slime, Overlord, No Game No Life, Konosuba, ReZero, and countless others. On October 5th, 2012, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure airs for the first time, spawning perhaps the most memed anime series of all time, particularly on the internet. I think the best way to explain this is just by showing you the third highest upvoted post on Reddit, with over 254,000 upvotes. On July 20th, 2013, The Wind Rises is released, of which Hayao Miyazaki stated would be his last film. And then in 2017, to everyone's surprise, Miyazaki came back out of retirement to announce the film How Do You Live, rumored to be released sometime early 2020. Studio Ghibli executive Toshio Suzuki explained that this is a film that Miyazaki made especially for his grandson, in memory of him before he dies. November 23rd, 2013, the Studio Ghibli film Tale of Princess Kaguya is released. On November 27th, 2013, the Hollywood adaptation of the Japanese manga Old Boy, starring Josh Brolin, Elizabeth Olsen, and Samuel L. Jackson, was released worldwide. It did poorly. Often compared to its very successful 2003 South Korean adaptation, this movie was the first notable movie of the decade that was an adaptation of Japanese manga or anime. January 16th, 2014. The Wind Rises is nominated for an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, but loses to Frozen. On May 28th, 2014, Edge of Tomorrow, starring Tom Cruise, is released with overwhelmingly positive reception. The movie was adapted from the popular Japanese light novel, All You Need Is Kill, released back in 2004. July 4th, 2014, Netflix officially licenses Knights of Sidonia. It's an anime you may never have heard of, but this was historic, being Netflix's first ever anime. Since then, there's been a large struggle between the big streaming services, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and others, to dominate their own corner of the anime industry for worldwide audiences. On July 18, 2014, an adaptation of the anime Kite, starring India Isley, Callan McAuliffe, and Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know why he loves anime so much. Does Samuel L. Jackson like anime? Yes, I do. Hentai too. <laughs> was released and was met with very poor reception. January 15, 2015, The Tale of Princess Kaguya is nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Feature, but loses to Big Hero 6. On July 30th, 2015, a little known game came out, maybe you've heard of it. It's called Fate Grand Order. It's a gacha game spin off of the Fate Stay Night series. A gacha game is where, like a Japanese capsule toy vending machine, the core mechanic revolves around using virtual currency to draw, at random, an item, character, a weapon, or whatever, depending on the game. Of course, if you don't get what you want, you can always roll again, and if you run out of virtual currency, you can use real currency. Harmless, right? Well, it turns out it was pretty popular. Fate Grand Order has earned 3.5 billion in revenue. 3.5 billion. That's more than every Zelda game combined, more than every Elder Scrolls combined, more than Fortnite, more than Minecraft. Though it has already been popular in Japan for a while, it basically paved the way for gacha games worldwide, including Final Fantasy Brave XVS, Fire Emblem Heroes, Azure Lane, Kantai Collection, Girls Front Line, and of course our sponsors for this video, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. July 3rd, 2016, Makoto Shinkai's Your Name is released and quickly becomes not only the highest grossing anime of all time, but also the highest grossing Japanese film, period. January 23rd, 2017. With news that the 2020 Olympics will be hosted in Tokyo, Japan unveils the official Olympic ambassadors, including Goku, Naruto, Luffy, Sailor Moon, and others. March 23rd, 2017, the last episode of Naruto Shippuden, The Message, airs. After a 12-year run starting in September of 2005, the saga of the legendary ninja Naruto comes to a close. 
Naruto proved itself to be one of the most successful anime series not only in Japan, but worldwide. Sure, The Adventures of Boruto premiered the following month on April 5th, but it's just not the same. On March 31st, 2017, the Hollywood adaptation of Ghost in the Shell was released, famously starring Japanese actress Scarlett Johansson as Major Makoto Kusanagi. It was met with only average reviews, with many saying that it wasn't faithful to its source material. On August 25th, 2017, the Netflix adaptation of Death Note was released, with mixed reviews. Uh, it did have Willem Dafoe. On July 20th, 2018, Mirai no Mirai premieres in Japan with a critical acclaim. On January 16th, 2019, a Twitter thread was published about anime voice actor Vic Mignogna, probably most famous for voicing Edward Elric, along with Kurz Weber, Junpei Iori, Obito Uchiha, and Broly. The thread accused him of homophobia, anti-Semitism, and unwanted sexual advances, which he denied. But a lot of people believed it. On February 5th, 2019, Rooster Teeth published an announcement that Mignogna was no longer part of the cast for the show Ruby, and that the company was ending all associations with Mignogna. On February 11th, Funimation announced one of his roles will be recasted, and they will no longer engage with Mignogna in future productions. On January 23rd, 2019, Mirai no Mirai is nominated for an Academy Award. However, it's beaten by Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse for Best Animated Feature. It's notable that this is the first non-Miyazaki film ever nominated to the honor. And there's actually more information about that in this video. On January 31st, 2019, the Hollywood adaptation of Battle Angel Alita was released in the United States and met with mostly positive success. It had notable cast members such as Rosa Salazar, Mahershala Ali, Jennifer Connelly, and Michelle Rodriguez. On May 3rd, the movie Detective Pikachu is released, a Hollywood spin-off based in a reimagined Pokemon universe. On May 27th, 2019, the Attack on Titan episode Hero was released, which currently maintains the top spot for the highest rated episode in TV history. If you'd like to watch another one of our videos, we covered that one as well. July 21st, 2019, Netflix buys the streaming rights to Evangelion. What that means is that before Netflix, if you wanted to watch Evangelion legally, and you didn't watch it on Toonami back in 2006, and you didn't want to buy the $300 box set, you were pretty much out of luck. This is the first time that Evangelion has streamed legally ever, which introduced a whole new demographic to the legendary anime for the first time, unless you found a bootleg copy. On July 18th, 2019, a fire broke out at Kyoto Animation's first studio. The effects of this tragedy was felt worldwide. Out of the 71 employees in the anime studio at the time, 36 people were confirmed deceased. And if you'd like to know more about the Kyoto Animation arson attack, check out this video. Weathering with You by Makoto Shinkai is released on July 19th, 2019. It was Shinkai's next big project after Your Name. So far, it has made $176.3 million, making it the highest grossing movie in Japan in 2019, the 12th highest grossing movie in Japan of all time, and the 45th highest grossing movie of the year worldwide. And the movie hasn't even been released in the United States yet. September 15th, 2019. Ash Ketchum becomes a Pokemon master after 1,000 episodes, 22 years, and 22 movies. November 3rd, 2019. After 11 years of being the best-selling manga in the world since 2008, One Piece is beaten in manga sales by Demon Slayer. <sighs> well, that was a lot to cover, and I'm sure I didn't cover everything. I mean, I'm probably missing your favorite anime. Well, let me know in the comments below if I miss anything that should have been on the list. Of course, there were some things that we just couldn't pin a date on, such as just the general widespread success of anime. For more anime on the air now than there has ever been in history, countless remakes and sequels, anime being a staple of internet meme culture, all-time high attendance at anime conventions, and celebrities openly celebrating anime when it used to be avoided like the plague. Celebrities such as Elon Musk, Michael B. Jordan, Kim Kardashian, Billie Eilish, and of course, Samuel L. Jackson. Hint I too. <laughs> Guys, it's been a great decade. Thanks so much for ringing in this new one with us here at The Asian Theory. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and watch more anime. Here's to 10 more years of it. Cut.